Okay, I just got a little kit uh, that's for like a clock, like an LED clock um, that I'm gonna solder and throw together. Uh, so just like. You know, I got a soldering iron over here, which I'll uh, plug up here in a little bit. And some solder. Um, <clears throat> then I have some, uh, the PC board that came with it, and then this is the LED. So it just has some different uh, connections, and we'll walk through those and how to set them up. Just a safety note, you should definitely, before start working, uh, wear a pair of goggles, glasses, safety goggles. Uh, solder is very hot and very dangerous to your eyes. So I'm just going to pull out all the materials and make sure I have kind of what I'm expecting, which is. So on the piece on the PC B board here, oh it's five it's five volts. So they have some different ones here, so you have to kind of match them up, which we'll do here in a little bit. Um, and we'll get it all matched up and set up. All right, so what I'm going to do is just kind of organize some of my parts here. So that I know where they go. So we'll start with our switches here. We have two switches. They just kind of go in like so. And we'll throw some solder on there. Um, on each of those here in just a moment or so. I just want to get a feel for the layout before I go through and put, you know, warm up the iron. Yeah, so here, like they have them listed here. Uh, capacitor one is a 104. And if you look here, it'll say, you know, 104. So that one just goes here. You know, something like that. So we'll go ahead and uh, first things we'll do is solder in, well, I want to solder in first. Uh, I'm gonna do batteries and switches and power first, just because of where they're located. Then I'm gonna move on to the IC uh, quick connects. Now, when you do like these quick connects, you'll see here they'll have pin indicators or a notch. And if you look here at the board, there's a notch. So this one will go in with the notch there. This one has a notch as well. You can see it right there. So they follow the little notch. Um, and that way, you know exactly which way is pin one, which is what they use to go by orientation is pin one. That way you know that. So I just took away a few minutes to let the iron, Saturn iron warm up for two or three minutes, but I'm going to give it another moment or two, um, like I said, while I just kind of get these all straightened out and get my... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the hole and then put the solder to it, right? Because I don't want these to touch. Um, so super simple, super easy. Um, but yeah, we don't want them to touch necessarily. So to solder those, I'll just take in just heat it up.
And what you want to do is heat up the circuit element or the ring or both really. Which then will heat up the solder. to the next part which like I said it's going to be these guys here so get those in I do have a bent pin here I'm going to have to bend back or bend straight And there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder these. There's eight on one side, and I think it's uh, 16 on this one. So same thing, just trying to heat the ring around it. Sixteen. Okay, now we're going to move on to. I'm actually going to do this uh, clock first just because it's already here. And that one's fairly simple. I say fairly because everything likes to do its own little thing. So we have to have it be tight like this. So I'm actually going to uh, weld or solder. Some people call it welding. I'm going to weld one or two just to get it into place. And. That'll allow me to, you know, raise it like this. That'll allow me to raise it up like this, like straight, and then. So I know that was a cold solder, right? Which is a, not a good solder, but I'm gonna change that right here. So I just heat it back up the post. That way, it's a little easier to do this. And as you can see, it's straight up and down, so it'll fit correctly. Um, something like this and then what I'll do is do these and then um, this will be the last ones I do the top side all right let's get it ready all right so the next thing I'm gonna do is there's a resistor right here 10k resistor that goes in here Actually, I'm going to do all the resistors, but I'm just going to get this one ready. And what I like to do is I like to get them in there. I like to get them in there. Then determine how much spacing I want, and then I'll chop these. So I like mine to be pretty close to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that on there for right this second. I'm going to get the other ones in. And then what I'll end up doing is soldering them in and then chopping off the long sides. Into all the little places they go, which are marked here on this board. Ready? Ready? 
And I do have a schematic for this. Um, you know, so there is a schematic, which I had glanced over before I even started, um, just to verify, you know, that we have most of what we needed. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and solder these guys in. Um, I'm going to solder them from the back side, which is how I like to do all of these. So, like I said, there's about uh, four of these. And what I like to do is, so you can do it like this, kind of pinch them together. And what will happen is they'll stay close to where you want them to be and about the same length that you want them to be. So you do it like that, and then like I said, we'll chop them. And so like I said, what I'll do is go ahead and chop these after I verify. So this one I should have pulled out a little better. Uh, not my best work, but it'll do. I do have a pair of like uh, dikes that'll get a little closer. So I'll probably end up using those just to clean it up. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do is just chop off the extra. And I'm just using some uh, industrial, okay, they're just cheap scissors. Um, couldn't find my dikes. Um, Funny enough, I think my kid still has them uh, after she made a, uh, a project where I didn't need it. Some, something to... And we're going to move on to the power junctions and um, power junction, the buzzer here. There's a little plus, maybe difficult to see. There's a little plus, so make sure those go in the right directions, right? Anytime you're reading the schematic, make sure they go in the right direction. Solder these guys up. Should just be a moment or so. I think the biggest thing is making sure you heat up. Right, you're really heating up two things here. You're heating up the hole, and you're heating up the... I'll call it the tang or um, you know or or stem right you know you have a stem here so you're heating up both this and the hole in order to make those two things warm enough for the solder to have a nice warm place to melt into and then when they slowly cool together what happens is it makes a much stronger um, makes for a much stronger connection then if you just heat one side or the other. I did just warm up my hand a little bit. I don't know if you could catch that on the camera where I jumped a little bit. Uh, it burns it. It's hot. Not my best solder job there, but it'll do. All right, so we have two, uh, I think like I said, it's 22 uh, picofarad going in here. So these are the little ceramics with um, 22 on them. So you can see the, the Transistor is like a half moon, so circle one side flat on the other. Same thing on the board, super duper easy. This particular kit is super easy because it has all of the the items kind of there. Like I said, I like to leave these relatively long, so what I'm going to do is... Like I said, I wish I really knew where my dikes were.
Okay, to finish up here, we're gonna finish soldering where they join together. Um, I did clean up a few of the joints back there. Um, they weren't as clean as they should have been, but not a huge deal. They would have still worked. So the final thing to do is just to match up your notches, slide in your IC chips. So I'm just going to flip it on. And I've already turned it on and set the clock. Uh, it is about noon here at my house, which is what it's showing. Um, and as you can see here, it's just about uh, 5 volts and 0 0.07 amps. Runs it just fine. <laughs> 